Hey guys, Jack Frags here and in this video I'll be offering up some hot tips and strategy for the Sinai Desert map in Battlefield 1. Fun fact, this is one of the biggest Battlefield maps ever made. Let that sink in for a minute. Admittedly, a lot of that is desert area towards the E-flag, but facts are facts. And because of its size, it can be a dangerous place to get around. And how, pray tell, can a Battlefield player survive in such a harsh climate? Let's see. If you're a big infantry player, there are a number of flags that you ideally want to float between. The antenna on C flag at the top of the map, the train station at D, and the outskirts flag at B. These are your best bets to go between as an infantry player. In between you and those flags is a village area and it's the most built up area on the map so SMGs on assault players can do very well here. Don't let that fool you though because there are snipers everywhere on this map. Over towards B there are multiple sniper spots near the rock so even heading over there can be dangerous. Keep out of line of sight as best you can and use the sand dunes and rocks as cover. If the dust storm comes in, even better because you can easily use the horses to sneak behind enemy cover without being seen. And learn the spawn locations of the elite classes too. They spawn at three of the flags. If you want the tank hunter, he's over at E, the flame trooper spawns at B and the sentry spawns over at F. Once they've been used and the player is killed, I believe they spawn back in after a few minutes, so be on the lookout. If you want to play as a sniper on Sinai Desert, then you've got a wealth of positions to choose from. Over at F, there are some rock cliffs you can get on top of and have a good lookout over towards the middle of the map. This point is also perfect for the rush game mode. If you're attacking, try and get up on top of the rocks and you'll have a perfect look down onto the MCOMs. Over towards the B flag near the rocks is another good sniper location. You can have a really good view towards the train station and the middle of the map and you can pick players off as they try to cross the desert. And when getting around the map, you're going to want to use the vehicles wherever possible because it's just huge. You don't want to be running through the desert with all the open area and snipers out there. Use the transport vehicles whenever possible and utilise the horses but remember you're always going to be very vulnerable on a horse. Keep your rifle out when you're moving around and use your sword when you get up close. In all honesty though it's probably easier sometimes to just run people over with the horse than it is to slow down and to swipe them. If you need to reload your rifle remember that you'll need to stop sprinting so slow down. On the other side of the fence if you come up against someone on a horse there's a real tendency to shoot the bigger target which of course is the horse. But that's a mistake. Horses have way more health than a player and as such it's much easier to aim for the player on top of the horse. Be careful though because if they were sprinting the horse will carry on in that direction just like a jeep would in BF4 and if it comes near you and hits you it will kill you. The hitboxes are pretty large. If you come up against a vehicle on a horse you do have two light anti-tank grenades to utilize but really they aren't going to do that much damage against tanks unless they're already damaged quite badly but kills are possible. And remember about the armored train as well if your team has it use it there are gunner spots throughout it and the driver can stop at two of the flags and help to capture them. Be wary though because it's extremely vulnerable from the sky, in fact planes with rockets or the tank hunter packages can do some serious damage and another tactic is for assault players to drop down mines on the track. The train can do very little about them itself so they're going to do some real damage if they hit. And another thing about planes, if they're taking control of the game remember that the artillery truck has an anti-air package available, use it if you need to. The artillery truck can be fairly underutilized because people want to mainly focus on the tanks but sometimes the air vehicles really really do need to be dealt with. And finally when playing Rush there's a big new tool at your disposal, Artillery. When you're defending you can run up to an objective and hold use on it to send out Artillery. It's worth using it because if nothing else is keeping the attacking team back or on their toes you can do it on both objectives and it will detect enemy positions and send out a massive barrage of fire. Could save your ass if you're in a pinch. And that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks for the Sinai Desert map in the Battlefield 1 beta. As always, thank you for watching, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you in the next one.